All right, so I made a video about this not even two hours ago uh, about Jenk and Emma Viglin on Twitter, and since I have made my video, it has gotten so much worse. And when I say it's gotten so much worse, I mean it's gotten worse for Jenk. I don't know what the fuck. It, I don't know if he's having a bad day. I don't know if he's just getting frustrated, but he is making this so much worse for himself, guys. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Um, so I already covered the original tweets. Left-wing extremists help right-wing so much. This is the original tweet Emma responded to. 66% of this country is left-wing according to polling on policy issues. They don't believe in defunding the police or being called that nice or calling women birthing people or abolishing prisons. Anyone who claims this, who claims they do is lying. She said, isn't your point contradictory? Um, nobody is making voting decisions based on clumsy activist slash medical language. And then she said what helps the right is ceding ground to them and not being proactive and reframing the debate around these phrases. If people prefer inclusive language, shouldn't we listen and make the case for them? And I said in my other video, which if you guys haven't seen that, you guys can go and watch it or you can keep watching this one. I said in my other video that I 100% agree with everything that Emma is saying here because she's 100% right. There's no way around it. Uh, Emma's got the better take here. Shank's take, this is garbage. Um, and uh, Shank responded. Uh, Shank, I, I pronounce his name wrong a lot. That's just something on me. Um, please correct me in the comments every time I do. Uh, Jenk said, Emma, I see leftists using this language outside of clinical context all the time. This new excuse that no one was using it anyway is bullshit, but I'm happy about it. If everyone wants to retire these terms, just clinical context, great. I agree. And um, this is one of those responses, one of those tweets that, um, it's, it just comes off in really bad taste. It's not worded well. It's worded very, um, like I'm upset at, that you're, uh, disagreeing with me. It just, it's, it just seems very immature from Jenk here to word this tweet like this. I mean, he's being very patronizing, very condescending, and I, I, I don't know why. Emma just put forth a different position and Jenk is just being a fucking asshole. I, I don't know why. And um, uh, Emma responded. Emma responded and said, um, I guess the question is, I guess then the question is, why the repeated emphasis on this, especially with no examples of electoral fallout? Why do leftists have to bend language to appease the right? Hasn't the TYT, the Young Turks mantra, always been about fighting and beating the right into submission metaphorically? Now, um, I don't know how many of you know, but Emma Viglin got her start at the Young Turks. That's where she started. She moved on um, to the majority of port with Sam Cedar. And Shank says, we didn't repeatedly emphasize anything. Anna posted the most innocuous tweet of all time, which now a lot of you are saying was perfectly normal. Then leftists lost their shit and started saying it was an attack on trans people, etc. There is absolutely no question. I'm sorry, my uh, my 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 hardware is not moving very fast. There's absolutely no question about who started this and made an enormous deal out of it. Again, Shanks is taking his frustration uh, with the reaction to Anna Kasparian's tweet out on Emma when she is just uh, responding to him and disagreeing with him, and it's a really bad look. And I don't agree with this at all guys everyone felt like they had to do a video explaining how they're more holy than us when no real voters on the left agree with you at all please don't pretend now that we're the ones making a big deal out of it and the the thing is is he is making a big deal about it because he's sitting here responding to every single person that has even a tiny following he's responding to them and he's just, he's having a meltdown He's kind of losing his shit, and uh, he it, Emma responded again and said, the repeated emphasis and reaction have been on social media. I can't speak to the segments you guys have done on the show. I'm not trying to be pure. I'm engaging with you even though it's uncomfortable with me because I love you guys and want TYT to be on the right side here. Emma is being 100% open. She's being very honest, you can tell here, and I think that she's, you can tell from this tweet, she's just pretty frustrated with, again, how Jenk is acting here. He's sitting here <laughs> blaming Emma and the left for something that he himself is doing. It's projecting. I don't want to be saying this stuff about him, guys. I don't want to be making this video right now, but I, I have to. I have to talk about this. And, um, uh, 
Schenk again quote tweeted Emma's last response and said, Good news, we are on the right side. Mission accomplished. Now let me talk to you in a patronizing way about all of your opinions I need to correct. And it's like, again, I, I this is the one I think is just the nail in the coffin for him. I, I don't know why this is still up. He needs to delete this tweet. Uh, it's always going to be there. I'm sure people have already sc screenshotted it and screen recorded it. I'm going to be uploading this video. Uh, but Emma said, I was trying to express my love and appreciation for the company that gave me my start and for my good friend Anna. Within the context of a disagreement, this reaction is pretty shocking to me, Jenk. Have a good one. And, uh, uh, you know, I just, I don't know. Uh, Emma stopped responding after that, and uh, I'm glad she did. I'm glad that both of them did. Uh, but, I, again, guys, um, I, I don't know. Um, to say, like, I'm disappointed in Jenk here, uh, when, again, this is something I do personally feel, and I've only said it in my other video, I see a lot of tweets from Jenk that I do not agree with at all, but this it is not engaging in any type of helpful or open dialogue or rhetoric. Jenk is being a fucking asshole here. He's wrong. He's going on this super defense, you know, for his co-host, Anna Kasparian. And, you know, I think he took it a little too far, but at a certain point, when you start to act like this, I just, I I kind of, I really do kind of lose a lot of respect for you. And I, I don't want to be saying that. I really don't. The Young Turks uh, starts at 6 p.m. It's 5.58 right now. This video is going to be up a little after they go live tonight. I am going to try to watch to see uh, if they address this. But this is just, again, to say I'm disappointed would be an understatement. I've, I, I, I think that Cenk is being extremely disrespectful here. And I, I just... Out of all the people, Jenk could be sitting here attacking on Twitter. He's acting like this big of an asshole toward Emma Vigeland. Of all the people. Of all the people. Emma. It's just like, I, I just don't get it. She's one of the least problematic ho media hosts I can think of. There's, there's, there's stuff from Jenk's past that you can talk about. That uh, you know, I, again, I think that he's moved past a lot of that, that stuff that he used to say that uh, you know is, is incorrect and wrong. And it's like you think of Emma Viglin, and you, you know, there's just, she, there's not really a whole lot of things you can say that's bad about her. And then Jenk's sitting here just endlessly attacking her, and it's like, dude, she just, dis she just disagreed with you, responded to you, and you lost your goddamn mind over it. And again, it just makes Jenk look all the more worse. He could have just come out and been like, I just don't agree with you. I don't agree with this. I agree with what I said. Uh, you know, it is what it is. But he didn't do that. He, he just, he didn't do that. He started putting out these tweets and, uh, you know, I'm just. It's hard. It's really hard for me to sit here and make this video right now because, again, I, I don't want to be making this video. I, I don't want to be talking about this. I really wish Jenk had just uh, been able to control himself a lot better here. But that's going to be it for the video. You guys like the video? Hit the like button. Subscribe. Press the little bell. Turn on all notifications so you guys don't miss an upload.